Hey YouTubers, well, got another video review for you this week. Uh, as you guys know, I'm all the time dealing with kayaks and all that kind of stuff, but what you don't know is through the years I've had all different kinds of trailers, from car haulers to utility trailers, I've hauled lawnmowers and cars and boats, I've had boat trailers, I've got jet ski trailers, I've had all kinds of stuff. And so, uh, you know, I've used plenty of different straps and things like that, uh, but I found a new strap uh, that I figured I'd tell you guys about. It's from a company called Strapino. Never heard of this company until, you know, about a month or two ago. And uh, they reached out and uh, had some straps for me to do a review on. This is not a paid review. They don't pay me to say anything. This is just my own experience. Now, I haven't got to use these long term or anything, so I don't know how good they'll hold up long term. But, you know, as everything that I've seen so far, they look like they're of good quality. And I just wanted to show you uh, some of the features that they have that makes them different than most of your other ratchet straps. And I know what you guys are going to say, it's just a ratchet strap. There can't be that much difference in between them. And uh, actually there is. Um, I've had lots of ratchet straps through the years and, and these are by far my favorite. And I'll show you why. Uh, the first thing is because uh, they're uh, ratcheting uh, retractable straps. So you know they open up like this right here I don't know how far you can see uh, that I've got it opened up to but you know they just retract back up and uh, these here are their this is their 12 foot strap it's the RS 112 and not only is it retractable but it also has these little spring-loaded clips here on it so if you hook it in like right here on the Jeep you hook it in it's not going to come unhooked like let's say you hit a bump and your strap becomes loose and you hit a bump that little spring clip right there is going to keep it from from coming loose and bouncing it off that that hook right there now another feature that i like about this is you know you is it's one piece it's not two so you don't have uh, two different uh, ratchet straps you got to feed in and and uh, make sure you do it right and all that this is just one one strap and you can't really mess it up so uh, for you guys that don't use ratchet straps all the time this is a, a fail safe to keep you from looking like a fool but uh let me show you how they hook up i'm gonna show you here on the jeep i'm just gonna hook it in right there on that side and let's say i had a kayak in here or some lumber in here and i wanted to ratchet it down all you do is hook it on this side and you can see that it's, you know, it tightens up, you know, because it retracts. So you just ratchet it from there and it's that simple. Now you can see that I've got it tight right there. It's pretty tight. I can tighten it up more, but you can uh, to loosen it. You just mash this uh, little thumb, this little finger piece right there. You just loosen, pull it up and it loosens the strap. I'll show it to you again. Let me tighten it back up. The way that you loosen it is right in here. You pull up on this spring-loaded uh, clip, and then you pull the ratchet straight, and it loosens it up where you can adjust it back and forth. So that's really neat. And so it makes it so much easier to tie something down uh, with this. Um, also, here on the back of the strap, uh, this is another thing I've never seen on any other strap. Uh, it's plastic. It's really thick plastic here on the back. So let's say you're tying off a kayak or something. You don't have like a metal uh, strap digging into your plastic kayak. You know, it's got a flat spot right in here. And, and uh, you know, that just keeps you from scratching whatever you're hauling up. So I thought that was pretty neat. Also, uh, I was playing around with this strap uh, in my office a while ago and I, I took and mashed these two little tabs in here on the bottom and I pulled uh, this piece off. You can see these little uh, plastic tabs right there. They hook in to that metal piece right there. Now I'm not sure if I was supposed to do that or not, but I just went ahead and, and seen that I could disconnect that and I was wondering, hey, could I put like a bolt in there? and and uh, not even use one side of it. Could I use these bolted down? Um, and so you really could. Now, the way that you would do that, and again, this is probably not what Strapino wants to tell you, but for me, I was thinking that I could um, take and pull the uh, strap 
all the way out and if you pull it all the way out and I got to say these straps have some really good tension on them so just watch your fingers and stuff because they do have a good spring in there and that's that spring on the inside is what retracts these straps back up into that mechanism there but uh like I said, I don't know if uh, Strapino wanted me to share this or not, but I'm, I'm going to because I think it's kind of a little bit of a hack. And I thought it was pretty interesting. If you uh, pull all the line, or most all the line, off the spool there, or the strapping off the spool, you can see that there's a little hole right there in the bottom. And you there's a hole, you can see that hole in the top right there. And you could probably drop a... a bolt down in there and a nut on the back or a bolt it to something if you wanted it to and not even use this piece if you didn't want now would i ratchet down on it really tight no because of course it's not meant for that because it's not very thick right in here but if you wanted to uh, to do something really light with it you probably could now again that's full disclaimer that's not what it's meant for didn't tell them the directions to do that it's just something I seen that I thought maybe it might help somebody out and so I wanted to show it so I said these right here were uh, pretty long straps these are the uh, 12 footers they also have these right here and these are the uh, 10 footers these are model number RA110. These here have a uh, working load limit of 500 pounds and a 1500 braking strength. These right here are the 12 footers and they have a 600 pound, 1800 pound brake strength. So a little bit of difference between the two. These are a little bit lighter duty than these here. But these are pretty much the same same thing they're retractable all you have to do is pull up on that straighten that out and then they they pull out and uh, on these here one thing i did notice was the plastic right in here was really thick um, now ratcheting uh, straps that retract are nothing new i went to walmart the other day i seen some at my local walmart that retracted but they looked like they were junk to be honest with you the plastic on it seemed really thin and they just didn't seem like they were very good quality straps plus they didn't have this safety clip on there and so that's why I really like these and uh, I did, couldn't tell from the packaging because I didn't buy them but I don't know if they uh, have this plastic backing on there or not so I thought that was really cool now if you're not a fan of the safety clips right here Strapino's got you covered on that too They've uh, they've got these uh, soft loop straps. If you've never used these, they're really cool. Um, basically, it's like a uh, seat belt material, and these are like the best ones I've ever seen. I mean, you can see all the stitching in these, and these things are just beef. They are very very beefy, and so the way that you would use something like this, let's say you didn't want to scratch up what you were working on you could just run these through this hook here and then now you have two loops to tie tie off to so you just take hook it in like that right there and now it's not gonna scratch up what you're working on now this is probably not the best case scenario to show you because it's not a very big tie off this would work better on like let's say a kayak all right now i have a, a third set of straps here and what these are for is for like a marine use if you want to use these on like a boat or a jet ski or a, a, even a kayak you, you could use them for that uh, but uh, the one thing i like about these is because uh, they're stainless steel so they're not going to rust on you so i figured you know that that's pretty pretty nice to have some that are stainless because a lot of times when you're getting into the water or even salt water the mechanism in here will rust up and it just makes it a pain in the butt to try to 
operate it and this starts getting clunky and it doesn't want to work right with these that stainless is gonna you know keep down the corrosion and you know these ha have that extra area right there for your fingers to fit into and you see how easy they work and so also when I lift this up you, you can see there's an area right here that's a place to put your bolt into your trailer now no uh, these are only four foot long and the reason they're so short is for you know they're meant to uh, this is meant to like bolt to your trailer and this is meant to hook up onto the hooks on the back of your or the eyelet on the back of your boat and you ratchet this down so it makes uh, makes your boat tight to your trailer now they do also have this little piece here and it's basically just a strap with a bolt and so you can use this any which way you see fit so if you want to uh, bolt this to your your boat or um, if you want to um, just hook them together like this and then bolt this in to your trailer you could they give you stainless steel hardware with a uh, nylock and a flat washer and so you know all you'd have to do is just bolt this to your trailer and this would bolt to your your boat and it gives you a little bit of extra room uh, for it to move around and and uh, turn without getting bound up so that is pretty neat all right so i have a, a new triton trailer and so on this triton trailer it has a lot of the cool features this is a jet ski trailer and so it already has the uh, uh retractable uh straps that's uh, on the trailer from the factory and you know when you put them together up here um, they don't have a uh, locking clip so what i have to do is kind of lock them into one another i've got this strap hooked into that hole and that strap hooked into this hole and they're kind of just interlocked now i was going to take and take a set of bolt cutters or a, a like a cutoff wheel and cut that eye off and replace these little hooks here with like a heavy duty carabiner but you know by the time you do that spend money on carabiners and cut these off and hope you don't nick that that strap then you know you're gonna you're gonna be into it a little bit of money and you know if you nick the strap you're you're out a lot of money and so anyways that's why i decided to to get these was because once these wear out i'll have a set of backups and uh, since these are are stainless steel i think it looks better with the aluminum trailer you know where these are like a, a cadmium color i think the the stainless steel just looks so much better against the aluminum than the that yellowish color plus uh these straps here are a lot wider these are only like one inch wide where these are two inch wide and you can see that you know it's a lot lot wider material and it's going to be a lot stronger plus it'll you know distribute that load uh, over a wider amount of area versus trying to distribute it over one inch now i wanted to show you uh, just how um, strong the, the retracting mechanism is on these you can see uh, man i don't want to get popped in the face but that's four foot of strap with a heavy carabiner type style safety clip on the end of that so i said earlier that you could use these straps here to you know haul your kayaks well, like on the back of this one kayak that i have it's got a really uh, thick molded plastic handle and so if you tried to use uh, just a regular ratchet strap you know you could you could do it like that but that metal is going to be touching your your pl uh, plastic kayak and i know it's uh you know it's it's got like a coating over it like a rubberized coating so it don't scratch it and that's true but if you're worried and uh don't want it to that metal to be touching this at all then like i said you could always take and uh, use a soft strap and just run that through the handle like that and then run your your uh clip through there and use this so there's no chance that metal would ever touch that kayak it just keeps your your plastic all nice and keeps it from getting scratched up now i told you guys that uh the uh, retractor spring on those other two uh, 
straps is, is pretty strong and this one is too uh, you can see that it it retracts up pretty good you know you might have to jar it a little bit to get it the last few inches up in there but uh it seems to work really good i sat in my office today and i put this up underneath my foot and would pull it back and forth just to see if i could you know have a, a, any problems with it retracting and it retracted every time so like i said i can't speak for long term but they they seem like they're of good quality now if you get these right here they do come with a bag so that is pretty handy but you got to think if these were ra regular ratchet straps and they're they usually they're in two pieces uh, normally you know when you buy ratchet straps uh, so you've got this piece over here and this piece over here and to try to wind them up you've got ratchet strap everywhere and they get tangled up with these you don't really have to worry about it and so you know i just think that's pretty neat and if you take them all and put them in a a baggie like this then they're right where you need them but anyways uh, let me go ahead and wrap this video up uh, like i said this was not a paid review of any kind i'm not no business none of that um this is just uh, me doing a review like i said they reached out to me and I'd go ahead and tell you, if this was a piece of crap, I'd let you know. I don't have any skin in the game here. I, this is a, an honest review. So I just think it's a, a good product. And, you know, if you want to ask me down in the comments six months from now how good it's doing, I'll let you know. So until the next time, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, check out my group on Facebook, Fishing Kayak Mods. Got over 52,000 members. And check out my other group, Kayak Trailer Mods. Got about 14,000 members. And if you're interested in the uh, Strapino straps, uh, doesn't matter which one, I'll put a link to their website down below in the description. So it's, look on down below. You'll see it in the description. You'll see their website. And I'll try to put a link in there where you can just click on it to take you to their website and you can check everything out. They've got a bunch of their straps on there. They also have some straps on Amazon. So check those out as well. And, uh, you know, if you want some straps that you didn't see in my video they've got probably what you're looking for as well they've got some heavier duty straps for like you know car hauling and things like that and then they also have another strap that's pretty cool it's for hooking up a, a jet ski so it has a hook on for this side a hook for this side and an actual hook in the middle where you can um, run it up to your jet ski and have a, a hook over here on both sides to tie it, tighten it down to and the hook middle hook just goes right up to the center of the back of the jet ski i'd never seen one of those before but uh i'd watched a youtube video on it myself a while ago and happened to see uh that they carried those so i thought it was pretty neat but uh anyways appreciate you guys watching again have a good one